I'm Tony Hervasio. I'm a third year crim and psych double major and I work for DUE. Okay, Tony, you get to go first. Well, considering I work like in your office and I see you like just running back and forth right. all the time, I was just curious like how you manage all your time being a, besides being a husband and a father, like how do you manage to be a, a dean, a vice provost, and a professor? Excellent question. I'm not sure. I, 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 I have figured out how to sleep and eat. That's part of it. You know, a lot of it actually turns out to be, um, I have to give a shout out to Roxanne Taylor, my executive assistant. Her ability to manage my schedule is amazing um, because I used to, when I started as a professor, I didn't even keep a paper calendar. I could do everything just by memory um, until the day I, I almost missed a meeting. Then I started keeping a paper calendar. Um, eventually I did on the computer, but yeah, without having someone who really helps with the time and then it just all trickles down from there. So there's a team, a leadership team that works with me and then there's all the staff lead managers and directors within DUE and their actual staff. Um, and the things they're able to do and get done are really what make me look good. And uh, I mean, it sounds very trite but it really is how I think great organizations work and do really well is it starts at the bottom and works its way up as what people are able to get done. Um, a lot of it is also, you know, as a professor, I've always had a weird schedule. Um, and I've always done, you know, a lot of what my job is is about, to be honest, is thinking, thinking of the vision, thinking of the plan, thinking of the next thing we might do. Um, and I've always been someone who tries to drive safely, but I'm often thinking while I'm doing that and when I'm, you know, just, sitting at home. I've always had a schedule. My kids tend to go to bed earlier than I do. I do a lot of work kind of from 10 to midnight. Um, but it's, it's, really, it's really letting go of things, right? It's, it's not trying to do everything yourself. You get things started and then you have to trust the staff and the other people and the faculty you work with that it'll get done. And it may not happen exactly the way you want and that's okay. Often it's better um, <laughs> than the way you wanted it. Um, so that's really a lot of it. The only thing that makes me really worried, I noticed this, this is something the way the world's come to. If you look around at a typical, I mean, we get at students, don't be on Facebook, don't be doing your email in class, right? Stay focused on us, because we're the most important. Um, I, I will admit that there's probably too many meetings where I'm also checking email. You know, and a lot of it is in my role, I have to be at certain meetings and often I'm hearing the same report two or three times. And you look around the room, and it really depends on the meeting. There's a mixture of people sometimes doing email, sometimes not. And I fear, I fear for our society because that's the way we're going. That's not a good sign. Um, and that's the one piece I'd like to really improve is how can I get, make sure I'm present at every meeting and not having to worry about emails or check things or do other things. So that's, I think, the downside where I'd like to see myself be able to improve. Great question.